All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you five tools that I use to build better websites on Go High Level. To give you a little bit of context, my name is Rico and I run a Go High Level web design agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. The last three are ones that I like a lot and ones that you may have not seen before. So the first tool is icons and graphics. What these are is if you take a look at this website right here, you see that under the services page, I added uh, different services. To make it even more interactive, I added this different icons. Now the website I get my icons from is this one right here, flaticon.com. So in this case, you see that I type five stars and it gives me a bunch of different icons with different styles. I could even click on this one specifically, see if it's offered in a different color. In this case, it is. And I could just download it right here. Let's say I wanted to search for something else. Let's say a logo. So I could just do Instagram logo, which is very cool and very helpful if I'm trying to build websites on Go High Level. Now, let me go back to here and show you the second tool that I like to use, Royalty Free images. There's a bunch of sites where you can get royalty free images, but the two that I like to use are pexels.com and Unsplashed. The reason why I like to use these two sites is because I've found that they have images that are very beautiful and really stand out. So let's say I was building a website for a spa. You could see right here that the images that they show me, they're very beautiful. They don't look too generic like other sites out there. And they also look very eye catchy. Now where these images come handy is when I'm building websites for some companies or some businesses that may not have the best images yet, or they're just launching, they don't have as much content. I could find just images like this, which are beautiful, ready to go. They're free and available for use. And you can see that I can download it for free right here. And Splash is kind of similar where you can just find different images. So let's say I wanted to type here photography studio. So you see the images that I'm being shown are beautiful and they look professional. And these are images that I could use as creative on my website or background. Let me go back here and show you the next tool. So the next tool right here is color palettes. And this one I've talked about in different videos. It's one that I like a lot, but I'm going to show you a few tricks that I haven't talked about before. So that one is coolers.co. So you see that I am on the site right here. What's cool is that this is a site that can help you get your color palettes. You can even delete columns if you just need three colors or maybe you need more. You say five, you could add five colors. As you hit the space bar, you can see what different colors look like. Something that is cool is that if you click this button right here, you will see what the colors would look like on a website. So it's very useful if you're building a website, you're not sure how are the colors that I'm going to use look like together or as a website. You can also change them right here. So let me just show you what that would look like. Click here and then start playing around. Of course, I have my face on top, so it's not as easy, but you get the idea. Also change colors right here. You can also get the code in RGB or hex, like whatever it is that you need. So I definitely use this all the time when I'm trying to find color palettes for websites that I'm building, especially if the client still doesn't have a color palette. A lot of the times, of course, if it's an established business, the client already has a color palette and a brand in guidelines. But for newer clients, some clients that need help, this is a site that helps me achieve that for them. The next resource that I want to show you is Color Contrast Check. For this tool, it is also found here in coolers.co. And to find this one, you would just click on Tools and then Contrast Checker. So let me just show you what that is and how you can use it to your advantage. Now, let's say I was building a website and I wanted to check if the contrast ratio is different enough so that the color would be easy to read and easy in terms of accessibility. So let's say just to prove a point, I would make it so that they're almost the same. You see that they're very hard to read and they have a low contrast score. What's cool is you can click this on click to fix, adjust both colors, and it would give you like a suggestion of colors that work well. So it's very useful in terms of, let's say you've already found your color palettes, but you want to make sure that before you build, you have colors that work well with each other. Here's a tool that will help you with that. The next one is my Notion doc for web design on Go High Level. If you don't know, I have this doc with all of my Go High Level web resources. My brother and I have compiled as we build websites for clients. As you see, I have a bunch of different tutorials, examples, code snippets, and things that we add to our clients' websites to make sure they stand out, they look better than everyone else, and that it doesn't even look like it's built on go-head level. If you get access to my live copy, any other things that I add, you will also have access. So you always have the latest tutorials in terms of go-head level web design. The next tool that I want to show you is cool background colors. And the site for this one is Mesh Gradient. So this is the site. I'll click Get Started. Now, I like this site because it's a way to create very beautiful gradients. And as you see, as I move the different points in the image, I can create cool effects. They look very artistic, very beautiful. I can also change the colors here based on my color palette. So again, making sure that it matches. And then what I could do is just hit export and then download it as a PNG. 
And in this case, I want to add it to my website. All I would do is just click here and then go ahead and upload it. So you see, it looks nice. Of course, I would have to change this so that it would be easier to read. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and click a white. Same for this one. And then for the button, I would do kind of like the same. What's cool is that I didn't have to use any code or Photoshop or anything like that, but I was able to get a gradient that looks very nice, very beautiful in just a few clicks. Now, the last tool that I want to show you is a place that you can get free mockups. And it's this website right here. There's a bunch of paid mockups, but they also have some free ones, which are very cool in my opinion. So let's say you are not only a go ahead level web design agency, but you also help with brand. These are some mockups that you could use to present to your clients to make sure it looks more professional. So one that I use a lot are this one right here and also this one right here. So you can click here download it now when you download this right here it will be a photoshop file and it will look something like this so all you have to do if you want to change the actual photo is double click this right here and then it would take you right here so in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my website and let's say i wanted to present this as a mock-up for a client what i would do is click this right here and then add it here make sure it lines up properly and now that i've lined it up all that i would have to do is hit save and then you see that my mockup is now presented in a beautiful way that I can show to clients and it looks a lot more professional. So those are the five tools or seven, I should say, that I use to build better websites on Go High Level. Again, if you want to get a copy of my Notion doc with all of the tutorials, code snippets and examples, click the link in the description to get access. But with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.